especially for applications that require frequent off-road driving, there is the robust CF, specifically engineered for construction. The bumper is mounted high, providing a much higher approach angle in combination with a ground clearance of 40 centimeters, thanks to the use of straight beam front axles. This leads to excellent characteristics on unpaved roads. Available with vertical exhaust systems with an integrated SCR unit for additional component positioning on the chassis. Also thanks to DAF's famous double drive 8-rod tandem rear suspension, which is characterized by excellent stability and large articulation up to 270 millimeters. The CF construction model has been designed to suit the toughest of on- and off-road applications, and so will certainly get the job done in just about any sticky situation you may find yourself in. The video you're about to see has been produced by the DAF Academy as an aid for you to become quickly familiar with the vehicle's features and their functions, and so help you get the best from the truck, whether you're the driver, the handover specialist, or the salesman. In this section, we will look at a few features of the CF off-road or construction model, which has been purposely designed for this rigorous job. Performance off-road is as important as on-road, and making sure you make the most of the off-road driving features is key to that performance. Remember, the off-road vehicle will also be driven harder and a little differently than when on-road. Starting with a few key external features, walking up to the vehicle, noting the increased ground clearance and raised bumper for a high approach angle. Under the grille, we have the coolant and oil filler points, and under this is the adaptive cruise control sensor, which must be kept clean. There are two towing eye attachments. Simply pull off the protective cover and screw in the towing pin, which is located behind the co-driver's seat. Here we have the main light cluster with Lexan unbreakable protection and below this the fog and cornering light cluster. The raised off-road bumper has also been designed to give maximum protection to the front end. The steel radiator protection plate also doubles up as the lower step to access the windscreen. Around to the co-driver's side, unlock the door by pressing once for the driver door and again for the co-driver door. Here you can see the screen wash filler, and here we have the cab tilt pump with bar located behind the co-driver's seat. Whether right or left-hand drive, both the screen wash and cab tilt are located on the co-driver's side. The battery box and add blue tank are situated here, and here we have the fuel tank with lockable cap. Moving around to the rear, looking at wheels and tyre condition, lights and lenses. And moving to the offside is where you will find the engine after treatment system. The diffuser here designed for low velocity outlet so no kicking up of dust and gravel. And forward of this is the DPF filter and you can find more information on this in the regeneration section. With off-road models it is particularly good practice to keep an eye on the air filter indicator as if it goes into the red you may well encounter problems. Access to the vehicle is by the wide steps with the option of an additional flexible lower step to minimise vulnerability. And when accessing or exiting the vehicle, remember the additional height of the cab so always ensure you use the seat dump. OK, let's take the vehicle to an off-road site to demonstrate the main driving features. When off-road in the AS Tronic, the situation becomes a little different than when cruising on tarmac, so we need to let the truck know conditions have changed. Simply depress the off-road switch to engage a different set of engine and gear parameters. When selected, this will be indicated to you in the bottom of the rev counter. Traction control, or ASR, also automatically engages, allowing a little more wheel slip to obtain maximum traction. Engaging the hill start aid in off-road situations is also a very good idea. Depress the throttle fully and you will see the gears changing much swifter and singularly rather than block shifting, along with the reluctance to upshift too early, all given a much smoother and more powerful ride along with a great deal less stress on the drivetrain. Remember, the AS Tronic cannot see the road ahead so you can change to manual operation simply by pressing the button on the end of the stalk. This will hold the gear if required. The AS Tronic with engine brake makes a great confidence off-road. 
on steep inclines, ensure you are in the correct gear before starting the descent. Downshift to get the revs above 1500 RPM prior to engaging the engine brake. This way you will get the full performance during the descent. And remember, stay in auto because if you are in manual, there is a very high risk of over revving which could easily ruin your day. Stopping on an incline and with the Hillstar Aid active, we have two seconds to get from the foot brake to the throttle with no roll back or roll forward. The diff locks on double drive vehicles have both inter and cross axle diff locks. If you find difficulty in moving off, whilst in neutral, firstly select the inter axle switch, locking the third and fourth axle, and you should then be on your way. And if in the extreme situation that this doesn't do the job, select the cross axle lock which will then give all four wheels the constant drive to get you out of almost any sticky situation and not to drive further in with the possibility of getting stuck. Pulling up to the tip, select neutral before engaging the PTO. By using the speed control, you can increase the engine RPM either in increments by using the cruise control or the presets by using the personal road speed limiter. Depending on the programming of the PTO, you can then move forward to complete the tip with the PTO still engaged. On completion, remember to turn off the PTO prior to pulling away. 